this is how I created my simple sales entry form. So, for example, customer number 1001, and in the sales date, this is automatic, the current date, agent, for example, agent Ed, and let's proceed to the subform. So, we will select a product by product ID. So, sample is 11001, the sun silk shampoo. Okay, here we go. The product name is being filled in, and also the unit of measure and the price also. All we have to do is to input only the quantity. For example, 10 or 10 ties. So, automatically the amount also is being computed. So, another one, cream silk. Cream silk, 15 ties. Another one, because we only have three products, 25 pieces. And now we have also the total. I created this video because one of my viewers asked me how to do this, the auto fell in, and also she requested to create from the start, from creating the table. So, no further ado, let us start. Now, let us start by creating a product master list. Let us uh, click this create menu, then table design. Then let's type, sorry, product ID. Next is product name, unit of measure, then last is price. So this for basic files for the product master list. So product ID, this is correct. Short text. I don't like auto number guys because uh, I really, I really wanted to customize this, but that's so long, so I have to make this ten characters, and then required, of course, yes, and then for our index, index, no duplicates. Okay, then let's proceed to the product name. The product name is it's too long also, so let's make it thirty-five characters. Required, of course, yes, no. Okay, that's okay. Unit of measure. Let's put 10 characters. Then, yes, because this is a master list. And then, let's go to lookup value. And we will make this as a combo box. Then, value list. Because I prefer to type manually our... Um, unit of measure. So sample unit of measure is pieces, box, dozen, what else? Um, ties. Okay. So let's proceed to the price. The price should be currency. By the way, the product ID, guys, before I forget, um, this is Prada, uh, primary key. Okay. Now let's close and let's rename product master list. Let's input sample products. So, 1001 Apple okay, pieces. The price is 5. 102 Orange box. Then 20. What else? 1003 Sugar Apple. Dozen. Okay, let's close this. And later on, we will use this. So, let's create a sales entry main table. So, let's go to create again. Then, table design. Let's type sales ID. Uh, customer number. Next is sales debt. Then, cashier. Okay. Sales ID, this is auto number. Then customer number, um, it's okay also, but I have to change this to 10 characters required. This is optional. Then sales date, um, it should be date and time. And then let's make it default. So the, the default is the current date. Okay, that's the current date, guys. And then uh, cashier. The name of cashier, 35 characters. Required? Yes. Okay. Then, um, let's close. By the way, um, sorry, sorry, primary key. 
Sales ID guys, sorry I forgot. Um, that is auto number, auto number. Okay. Yes. Then, sales entry main table. Okay. And then, let's proceed to the sub table. Sub table is this one. Um, series number. Sales ID, which is connected to the primary uh, primary key of our main table then product ID then quantity okay this is auto number sales ID this is number okay so it should be number guys because our um, sorry our main table is this is auto number so our sub table should be number only not auto number so to avoid some errors and it should not be also a short text so number so remember this one and then for our product id it was short text and then 10 characters required okay yes Yes, then duplicates okay, so it's okay because this is a sub form. Then for the quantity, the quantity is number. Okay. By the way, let's go back to the product ID. The product ID should be looked up from the product master list. So we will change this to combo box and then table uh, or query. It's good. Then let's click these three dots, select the product master list, close. Then bring down the product ID and the product name. If you want to show all of these four fields, then go ahead. But I prefer to show the two um, fields. Yes. Then um, the column count to. Okay. Yes. Then um, the column widths like one and. Three. Okay. So okay, let's check. Um, cells entry sub table. Yes. Okay. Let's check for this product ID. Okay. Sorry, um, I forgot something. So for this list with, so 1 plus 3, this is 4. Okay. And let's try. Here we go. So now, before we proceed the, the form, guys, let's establish first the relationship. So to create a relationship, database tools then go to relationship okay here we go we have the main table and sub table so let us connect this one the sales id to sales id also and then click this enforce referential integrity as well as the cascade delete related records so why is this really important because if we delete uh, a particular records from the main table the record the related record from the sub table should be also deleted so no need to delete from the main table and then also delete the sub table so this is a one time delete if you delete in the main table the related records from the sub table also will be deleted okay close then i have to create an extended sub form so because our sub form is only product ID and the quantity so I want to show the, the product name the unit of measure and the price and also it will automatically create or compute the total amount so close and then let's go to query and then I'll close this okay and the sub table here we go so if I select sorry I will select this then um, product name I'll put it 
uh, next to the product ID and then the unit of measure and also this one so okay next is I have to compute automatically compute no so click zoom or press shift F2 so that we can easily type so amount so the formula is price times quantity so okay then save so this is sales entry sub extended close okay so now let us create a form guys so to create let us click this main table and then go to create select form and here we go. So automatically, guys, the subform is also being created. It's because of our relationship. So they are really connected to each other. But as you can see, product ID and quantity. So we don't like this one. So we will change this to um, our extended subform. Okay. Main F main form okay then okay so let's try so for example c 001 and then the cashier is add and then the items is apple here we go automatic created and then quantity is 5 so we have the amount of 25 next is orange okay three bucks next is sugar apple uh, five dozen okay so we have already the computation and then we can add a total click this total and then quantity total quantity sum and then for the amount also sum so $835 uh, is the order. Then next, let us create another record sample. Um, C002. Then cashier is Edsel. If we have barcode scanner, we can use it. 5. Okay. Sugar, apple. 3. Okay. So this is enough for this video. I hope this simple video helps a lot. And if you like this video, guys, please click like. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Access, feel free to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And if you want or if you have any question, feel free to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer all your questions. That's all, guys. Thank you and see you to my next video.